for z is a continuous random variable for standard normal distribution so standard normal distribution we know that when we have the graph here so right and left is right and left is equal this one is zero okay so we see here when z is smaller than k is 0 0.6078 so we know that this area is 0 0.5 this area is 0 0.5 so 0 0.6 so we can see that 0 0.6078 is larger than 0 0.5 which means we this one this area occupied right and right and left so we can see that this one is smaller than k so it's smaller which can occupy right and left supposed to be here so this one is k and this is this area plus this area is 0 0.6078 okay so here to use table to use table so the value of z must be larger than 0 so you see here so we can find if we can find here probability probability of z is larger than k then we can find the purple area this so here probability of z is smaller than k is equal to 1 minus probability z is larger than k so here p z is larger than k because we can only find this one from the graph so we change place which is equal to 1 minus probability z is smaller than k so we have z is smaller than k here which is 0 0.6078 so here we get 0 0.3922 so this one we can find from table so 0 0.3922 so here 0 0.3922 so you see here this one we start from 0 0.5 because we know that one side maximum is 0 0.5 so 0 0.3922 0 point, so we can see it's going down so we should find a number which is slightly bigger why because later on we need to minus so 0 0.3922 so we see here 0 0.39 so it's 3738 Okay, this one is 3936, right? This one is 3897. So, this one is the nearest and a bit larger than this one, right? So, how many you need to minus? So, this one is 0 0.393936 minus 0 0.3922. So, we get 0 0.0014 so we know that this place is 4 decimal place so this one is basically 14 so we see here we have 3 and 4 right so this one is 12 this one is 15 but the nearer to 14 is 4 so here we get you see from the from this one so this one straight line this one is 0 0.2 so as you write in the box so 0 0.2 and then you see up here is 7 and then this one is 4 so we get 0 0.274 where this one is the value of z so this one is 0 0.274 so we see here 0 0.274 right so k is equal to 0 0.274 So for B, so like I told you, we draw here first so that we can see. So this one is 0 0.4538. So we can see that less than 0 0.5. So it must be at only one side. So this one is larger. So we see here, if it is on the left side, if on the left side, then it will be larger than 0 0.5 because this area already 0 0.5. So this one must be here so that it can be z is larger than k so we know in the this chapter so this one larger or equal and larger doesn't affect much uh, the calculation is the same so this one z is larger than k right so which is this area so we know that from our table we can find the value when z is larger so here we can directly find from the graph so we know that here z 
property Z is larger than K is equal to 0 0.4538 so we can directly find this value from the table to know what is our K so 0 0.4538 so 0 0.4538 so we see it's going down so find a value which is larger because we want to minus later on where we know this area is for decimal point so this one is uh, 4538 so we see it's going down this one is 44 already 4522 is smaller 4562 is the closest and larger than this one so uh, to know how many to minus so 0 0.4538 562 minus 0 0.4538 so here we get 0 0.0024 so we have to minus 24 because this one is 4 that's more place right which is actually 24 so we see here the same line which is 24 and we see that 24 is is 6 right so now the value I will put it in the box. So this is the, the box, right? If we go to the left, we can see that it is 0 0.1. So this one is 0 0.1. And you see up here is 1, so 0 0.11. And lastly, you will go here, which is 6. So 0 0.116. So this one is 0 0.116.